Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Noctula, if this is your first time. And if it's not your first time, welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is going to be a bit interesting. I am trying to kick off a new series. Well, yeah, this is a very short series. It's only gonna be seven videos. Um, a series on my channel called Back to Basics. So, the entire purpose of this series is to kind of help everyone master like the foundation of makeup not actual foundation but like the basic steps of makeup or what I think are like the basic necessities of like building on your makeup skills or just like building your makeup skills in general this is what I think will be beneficial to beginners or to people who are not that comfortable with makeup and just want to get a bit more acquainted with the whole makeup process so I really hope this um, entire series as well as this video helps you so this series will entail um, eyebrow routine eyelash routine eyeliner eyeliner routine foundation routine um, like a makeup starter kit and as well as tools and basic brushes that you will need kind of to complete this makeup to just master makeup in general. I try and go into as much detail as I can and, as ex and explain and articulate as best as I can. So I really, really hope this video or these videos help you guys. Um, please let me know if you liked it, what else I could incorporate into my channel to help beginners get into makeup. And I really like doing like makeup looks, but then I also feel like for some people that's kind of jumping to 10 before they even like get one and two down. So I wanted to go back to basics the name of this series and kind of help everyone build the like foundation of their makeup skills you know what I mean so I hope this video helps you guys I hope this series helps you guys and please don't forget to like this video if it helps you um, uh, please subscribe to my channel click the bell notification to get notified every time I upload that would really help me and please comment what you liked what you didn't like and share it with all your friends and family I hope um, to see you guys in my next video bye Okay, so when it comes to doing my eyebrows, the first thing that I do is I tweeze them and I kind of just get rid of any hair that's not in place and just not where I want it to be. Tweezing is honestly such a bad habit of mine because you can see that my eyebrow tail is so much more thin than the rest of the eyebrow, but I can't help it. Okay, now that the brows are tweezed, I'm going to do two separate brow demonstrations. So on this brow, I'm going to use a pencil and then on this brow, I'm going to use the Anastasia dip brow just to show you guys two different methods um, and you can choose whichever one you find easiest. So starting off with a pencil. Oh no, I need to sharpen this. Starting out with a sharpened pencil, I just use any brown pencil that I find in whatever beauty supply. This is probably a dollar. I think those are the ones that work best, but yeah. So starting with a pencil, what I like to do is I like to draw a very faint line at the beginning of my eyebrow, like so. And I extend that line and I just follow the shape of my natural eyebrow. So. And once I like how that outline is looking at the bottom, I do the same thing at the top. And that is the outline of the eyebrow. So now once that outline is done, I just go and fill in from about here onwards and fill in the rest of the eyebrow. Now with my spoolie, I'm just going to brush the, the product in to the eyebrow. And then with whatever's left over on the brush, I kind of just bring it forward 
brushing sideways first just to spread the product out and then I brush upwards. And that's basically one eyebrow done. Okay, now with the other side, I'm going to demonstrate how I do my eyebrows with the um, Anastasia Dip Brow. And I'm using the shade Dark Brown. So mine's a bit dried out and old, but this is what it looks like on the inside. Ooh, this way. So I'm going to take this e.l.f. small angled brush and you always want to use a small angled brush to do your eyebrow um, because it's just easier it like it's it lays a lot easier than using any other type of brush when you're doing your eyebrows so I'm just going to take a bit of the dip brow and I put it onto the back of the cap or you can put it onto the back of your hand and I use this as like my palette And then I want to get the brush as thin as possible so that I can give my eyebrow like very thin hair like strokes. Okay, so like I do with the pencil, I, um, I usually start in the middle of the brow because there's a lot of product on the brush so I don't want the um, very beginning of my eyebrow to be very harsh. So I start in the middle of the eyebrow following the shape of my eyebrow and I just outline the very bottom. And then with the rest, I go to the front. Okay, now I go back in, dip in to get some more product, and then I do the same thing with the top of the brow. With the product, I just go in and fill the inner part of my brow with some hair-like strokes. And like I did with the pencil, I leave like the first section kind of blank. Take my spoolie, brush the product sideways to get it all dispersed into the brow then brush it up and then I also distribute the rest of the product to the front of the eyebrow and then the next thing that you can do is go in with um, some brown mascara or like some brow gel this is a tinted one from Flormar or you can use the clear one which is usually better but um, this is the only one I have right now so I'm just gonna take some of this tinted brow mascara and I'm just going to brush some of that into this side and this just really darkens the color because I feel like this is a bit too like reddish brown so I just go back in with this to add a bit more color, I guess. So then now again with the spoolie one more time, I'm just going to go in and make sure the product is, dis is evenly distributed and it's not too dark on like one corner. Sorry, on one section of the brow. Okay, now this is like the very last step, cleaning the brow. So you can use a concealer or your foundation, whatever you wanna to use to um, clean up the brow. I'm just going to go in with this Maybelline Superstay foundation because it's a bit too light for like my entire face, but it's a really good shade um, to clean up my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna take this flat um, concealer brush from elf and this is sorry from morphe and this is the morphe m421 brush and i'm just going to take a bit of the product 
and I start with the very beginning of the eyebrow and like we did when we were filling it in I'm just going to outline the brow and clean up any mess that we made and you can feel free to drag the concealer all the way down to your lid but I don't usually think that's necessary so that's as low whoa that's as low as I go and then now with this elf um like blending brush I just go in and blend that conceal oh well that foundation out I do the I'm gonna do the same thing to the top I also really like this um, using this foundation because it kind of just like blends into my skin and that way I also don't get that halo brow which I personally don't like if you do okay <laughs> so now I'm just gonna clean the other side and I'll fast forward this bit Okay, now to diffuse any um, harsh lines at the beginning of the brow, I'm just going to put a bit more foundation right in the center here. And then I'm going to take the same blending brush, brush it out, and then kind of brush the product into the very front of my eyebrows, just to not give um, those harsh lines. And just to make it a bit more of a gradient rather than like knowing where the eyebrow starts and stuff. That is it for my eyebrow routine. This is the brow that I did with the Anastasia dip brow. It's a bit more like gray and faint. And this is the one that I use with the pencil and it's a bit more red and brown. You can just choose whichever one that you like the most and you don't have to use the Anastasia dip brow. I know NYX also makes a really good brow pomade but that one's a bit harder to work with but pencil honestly is like my go-to. It's the quickest in my opinion and it's just a lot it's easier to be more precise with the sharp pencil than it is with like a brush. I hope this video was useful to you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!